there's there's some nuttiness to it. There's some craziness. There's some forbidden thing to it. There's some there's a bunch of a bunch of things in play. Power's one of the dynamics. It's just the most foul one. Because yeah. like the, all the other ones, like the sexual frustration yeah. and stuff, doesn't seem so gross. It's like when you when you you're you're imposing your will on someone, then it's unquestionably an, it, it, it's an expression of power. Like once you are raping, once you're coercing, once you're imposing your yeah. will, and you're saying I'm gonna t you know take away your career if you don't yeah. let me have sexual intercourse with you. Well, then it's a hundred percent power thing. Yeah. But like, wh how did it get there? There's a lot of things, and I think you've yeah. got to, got a lot. Of and does power? I mean, I, I guess I haven't exercised sufficient power in my life to know the answer to this question, but does does dominance feel good directly or is it is it something that comes to you indirectly? So, in other words, does it feel good to dominate someone else or only because then you can get something that you want from them? I think it's something that you want from them. And I think there's, there's also, there's, I think human beings are connected to each other in an undeniable way. And I think that if you are exercising power over someone, like say if you, I hate to paint the scenario, but just say if you rape someone, you sexually attract to someone, you're alone with you and you rape them, and if you have any conscience at all, if you, you know, they're screaming no and you're still having sex with them and you come and then after you have to think about it, like you would be horrified at yourself. Like the, the level of self-hatred would be almost unimaginable that you've imposed yourself and your, 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 your twisted sickness. And in the heart of that moment, you know, the, 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 the power dynamic, trying to impose the power, it can't possibly feel good. I think it's just a thing, I think it's just a, a, almost like a creepy leftover reptilian instinct that, that creatures have. Because if you look at rape in nature, and this is not to exonerate rapists, this is not to normalize rape, but it's insanely common in the animal kingdom, right? It's all, it's in common in ducks, it's in common in all sorts of different animals. Or there's orangutans. Dolphins. Dolphins. Yeah, yeah, orangutans, ruthless, right? And it's tough because there are uh, a lot of primatologists are women, and they learn the hard way, from what I've heard, that you always wear jeans if you're working with orangutans. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. Orangutans. But this, that this thing, we're supposed to be evolved past that, and for the most part, by far and above, we are, right? If you think about all these sexual harassment interactions, now imagine if they were chimps, <laughs> you know? I mean, imagine if they were orangutans. We, we, the rape is the common thing. You could never have a bunch of orangutans in some sort of a building, and people would go, well, of course, we're better than orangutans. We are. That's why we don't rape as much. But, but it is problematic to use the word rape when you're yeah. talking about animals because you're right. part of it is the way you described it that there's the knowledge on some level that this female is totally not into what's happening right mm -hmm. now. Whereas yeah. presumably an orangutan doesn't have that knowledge. And also there are animals where the female is triggered to ovulate by aggressive male behavior that we might call raping. Right, right, like, right. Like rabbits, you bite the back of their neck and that's what makes the female ovulate. Well, that's, there's a, a lot of weird stuff when it comes to women's, what, what, what is sexually uh, attractive to certain women and what arouses yeah. them. There's, Rape fantasies is the number one. Yeah. yeah. A lot of women like to be choked. You know, like, what's happening there? Like, why, why do you like to be choked? Why do you have, like to get your arms pinned behind your back? And why do you like to fight back? Like, you actually like it? You want me to do that? You want me to hold both your wrists? Okay, you're sure. Uh, especially that out toward Santa Barbara and Ventura. Ventura, yeah, no, that's nice. That's the worst. You know what I keep thinking? What if the fucking big one hits? Like, shit's gonna catch on fire when the big one hits, mm. and all the roads are gonna be fucked up. The infrastructure's gonna be messed up. Mm -hmm. It's that like yeah. these. This is like without a massive earthquake. What right. happens if the what if the fucking big one hit right now? Right. And Shh, trucks Jesus, can't. All the out. water lines are, are broken. <laughs> yeah. Trucks can't get there. Shit. Yeah. 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 yeah, it could be a giant issue. Then you have toxic clouds and stuff, too, because all these warehouses go on. Not only that, if the big one hits, it's entirely likely it's not just going to hit here, but it also hits in the ocean. Right. In which case, we get hit with a tsunami. tsunami. Which case, all that super expensive real estate in Malibu just gets wiped away. Yeah. yeah. I'm good up in Topanga, though. Yeah, you're I'll, probably, I'll if, just you're not, scavenge. if you're not good up in Topanga, we're really fucked. <laughs> yeah, we are fucked. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're like a canary in a coal mine. That's me. I'll, <laughs> I'll repopulate the planet. <laughs>
Leave it to me. Dude. To, to get back to your, the topic you're talking about, yeah. it's the what's ha it's, what the thing that's happening is people are realizing stuff that nobody ever really wanted to talk about. Shit's changing. Like I, if you if you ever watch like Porky's or if you watch any of the movies from the '70s, like the makeout scenes, like the guys are like, "Come on, baby, come here. What are you doing?" They're like throwing themselves on. Right. They're doing things in movies. That were just considered like, yeah, that's how that's I guess that's how it's done. You're like, you they're forcing themselves. There's like scenes I think with like Bill, Bill Murray maybe or mm. scenes in the old movies with all so many of them. Uh, Pepe Le Pew, oh. you know what I mean? There's oh, he was my straight favorite. up racist. Yeah, yeah. He was a rapist, 100. percent right? Yeah. So see, when you when you're seeing like this, like you're seeing French. like French. You're, yeah, it's crazy Romantic. when you go back and look and you realize like shit, man, what's happening what is those, like 50 movies from the 50s where the guy will just grab the woman and yeah, kiss her and yeah. be like, oh, how dare you? Yeah. Smack, Smack her in the mouth. Yeah. yeah, things yeah. are changing is what's happening, and 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 yes. and, and as things change, like. Two things we need to figure out. Number one, we have to admit, like, yeah, I get it, man. Like, you know, for me, like hanging out with you, uh, doing the podcast with you, I know. Here's one thing I know, man. I'm pretty sure, at least, <laughs> you don't want to fuck me. <laughs> I'm saying what's happening right now. Right now, what's happening is there's been a lot of fucking slimy massages that've been going on. Yep. I'm gonna guess. For about five thousand years, there's been a more. lot of there's yeah more, more than that. maybe like what twenty thousand years of slimy massages has been building up like the right. fucking Yellowstone super called there, and in the fucking like epigenetic DNA of women, there is probably somewhere encoded in there just millennia of creepy fucking massages that don't stop with a fucking massage depending on what time period you're in you know and so i think that what we're feeling right now is the result of generations of creepy fucking massages and much much worse happening and women are like fuck this this fucking sucks we're sick of it we're fucking sick of your creepy massages and that's what it is and some women i mean imagine man i've never there's one time at a blockbuster video, I used to work at a blockbuster video, and my boss was this like, just a, a, a sleazy fucking, like just a slimy fucking gay dude. I didn't like him. He made us clean the videotapes when they didn't need to be clean. It's like, come on, man, these tapes are clean. Spraying fucking videotapes down. I remember late at night, he, we, the, we, there's like the area where the cash register is. It's this closed off cubicle place. I'm, I'm down, I'm down on my fucking knees, man, having to get something from underneath there. And this dude like hops up on the fucking counter and he stretches his legs out in front of me. He's like spread eagles his fucking legs out. It's like blockbuster khaki pants on, curling up. But you can see the outline of his fucking boss balls in there. And, and like, and he's like, he's like, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's, he, he, you never, there's nothing more unappealing than boss balls accentuated by khaki. Mm. Ugh. And Ugh. you're looking up there and he's looking down at you. The power has been accentuated. He's looking down at you and he's just saying, you did a good job today. You did a good job today, Duncan. And I'm like thinking like, this is fuck. This is truly got to be one of the circles of fucking hell right now. Because like this dude it is hitting on me right now. I'm getting paid minimum. He's hitting on you for sure. Dude, his legs are spread. I don't know. No, can I Might prove? Might have been just doing yoga. Can I prove it? Yeah, right. I don't even think people are doing yoga in North Carolina this time. If he was a woman, you would assume that those actions would indicate that she would want sexual intercourse. I'm saying there was a feeling. Now, whether I could prove it or whether it was just me or whatever. Oh, what? Mean? what? Oh, 20s? I don't know. But there was a feeling that this sucks, man. There's like right, more right, going right, on right. here, right? This right. sucks. That's is it a legal thing? Is it like could I is it even sexual harassment? No. No. But it sucks. And it's like <laughs> it sucks, dude. And that 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 is the is what a lot of fucking women have been dealing with uh, for a long time and they they're pissed. Yeah. And they're rightfully so. they're rightfully fucking pissed because it's like who wants to be dominated like that? If I'm getting dominated, I want to be paying for it. You right. know what I mean? I don't want to <laughs> Um I really do think there's something to this idea that humans aren't meant to be in these small areas totally enclosed in right. together with each other all day. I don't think we're designed for it. No. 
I just don't, I think that's an intimate environment. As weird as that sounds, and this is not saying that men and women can't work together and be totally, you know, plutonic, and they absolutely can. Yeah. But it's it's a super unnatural behavior, uh, unnatural environment to be in these cubicles, these small little boxed in offices, working day in, day out with people, smelling them and... You know, I think we should outlaw offices. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. We have Start to get, there. How do we get shit done? Work at home. Anarchist. Work from anarchists. Anarchist. Fucking anarchists anarchist over here. What the fuck? We need Psychos. the state, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we definitely. need to be protected by the state, Chris. <laughs> the state, man. <laughs> Who's going to fix the roads, man? <laughs> <laughs> we can fix the roads. We'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll and figure it out. I think what we're experiencing now as people, well, what we're getting from information, right, and what we're getting from this use of the internet is the ability to spread information instantaneously. This video could have existed decades ago and we would have never seen it, you know, and there would be no need for body cameras back then either, they didn't have the technology, so now they do, everyone has to have a body camera. This guy did this knowing he was filming it, which is even more insane. Like, imagine this guy completely unfiltered, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. this, he might have just gunned that guy down for the fuck of it as yeah, soon sure. as he saw him. I mean, he might be a, just a guy looking to shoot people, which is real. Well, no, this is the thing that we're, this is like you're saying, oh, well, you know, priests are mol molesting kids. Uh, and when, why? Well, a lot, I don't know why they're all, why, why, so, why so many are doing it. But one thing's for sure, sociopaths, people who are trying to do fucked up shit, Wait, what was it you were t saying about, what's her name, Asa Akira? What was it you were saying? That she liked DP? Oh, yeah. What, what is it you said? Well, she said, she, she was joking on this podcast I did with her. She was like, it, you know, I think I've gamed the system because what I love the most in sex is DP, and that's what they pay the most right. for. Now, that, so what DP you look, being double, double penetration, penetration for people who aren't fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them. But, but, <laughs> new, new listeners. <laughs> but, but what that shows, that's a person <laughs> who figured out, truly, who figured out how to make money doing what she loves. And so, in the same way, when you have these fucking sociopaths, these pedophiles, who want to make a career, uh, who want to figure out a way to do what they're doing while, while like, sustaining themselves. Well, they're like, oh, I'll just become a priest. If I become a priest, I'm gonna have, and it's all power, we're all talking power dynamics here. Because it's like, it's not enough that you're an older man and you're, it's some helpless kid, but on top of that, you're a representative of the creative force of the universe. You're like the fucking spokesperson for the universe. The power dynamic there is, a, is as, almost as skewed as it can fucking get. Yeah. And in the same way, that guy, that guy, no, I mean, you think when that guy goes home, he's like listening to sounds of waterfalls and shit, taking baths with lavender candles. That guy, is, that guy goes fucking home and he just he probably just fucking punches a brick wall. He just punches walls. He, he's a, that guy is not a happy dude. I agree. And he likes to dominate people and he wants to be in control and he wants to have power and he got himself into a job where he could be a get paid to be the worst kind of murderous bully there is. And that's what's really happening is that we have in our society monsters and the monsters are smart and they're figuring out ways to get into positions of power and we before the bloody revolution we just need to come up with better ways to scan for these fucking assholes so that we can keep them out of these positions of power not only sure, do we not scan for them we encourage them the system is built in such a way that they're encouraged i mean it's no accident that we end up with psychopaths as president who the fuck else would want to do that right 